Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this tutorial we are going to see what is the difference between Docker and Kubernetes. So let's jump into it. Before we get started, let's see what is Docker and what is Kubernetes. So Docker is a container technology that allows a developer to package an entire application within the single container with all the parts which is needed with that particular application. So it isolates the entire application from the operating system and packages into a single container. So what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is an open source technology which allows the orchestration of the containers. So whatever containers that we make using any of the container technology, rather Docker or any different one, it allows us to manage those containers and scale up according to the requirement. Now both these technologies are very different but they go hand in hand together okay so let's see how they work together now docker is used at the time of the ci cd process at the time of building and automating your application but on the other hand kubernetes comes in the picture after the deployments okay how your containers will be scaled how your containers will be managed and scaled will be handled by Kubernetes. Docker defines how you package your applications, but Kubernetes defines how you scale and monitor those containers in an entire cluster. Docker is a container platform for building, configuring and managing your entire application in a single container. On the other hand, Kubernetes is a system for managing the cluster of all the containers or any containers. Docker has no web UI for monitoring the containers. On the other hand, Kubernetes comes with the default Kubernetes dashboard which has a web UI for monitoring the clusters for the containers. So this is the diagram where you can see how Docker and Kubernetes works together. Okay, At the time of local development process, you will be containerizing your applications into a single container using Docker and those containers will be deployed to any of the servers using the CI CD build process. Okay. Once those containers are been deployed to any of the production servers or any of the staging servers, you have to monitor those containers. At that time, Kubernetes comes in picture. How you monitor and how you scale those containers, how you schedule those containers are all been handled by Kubernetes. So Kubernetes provides the complete orchestration of the containers that we have deployed to the servers. Okay, so both of them comes hand to hand together. So you got an idea how Kubernetes and Docker works together hand in hand. Though they are different, they make a perfect match to work with each other. Okay, you can run Docker without Kubernetes and you can run Kubernetes without Docker. But many of the companies work them together and it has been a proven advantages for using both together. Now when everyone compares Docker and Kubernetes, they mean to compare Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. What is Docker Swarm? Docker Swarm is a tool used to cluster and orchestrate Docker containers. Oh, isn't it what Kubernetes does? Let's see the difference between Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. The installation of Kubernetes is very complex. On the other hand, the installation of Docker Swarm is very easy. Kubernetes is very complex with more advanced features and is very powerful also. So it has a very higher learning curve for learning Kubernetes. But Docker Swarm is very lightweight and has a very limited features. So the learning curve is very low to learn a Docker Swarm. Kubernetes supports auto scaling of the containers in a cluster. But on the other hand, Docker Swarm doesn't support auto scaling of the containers in a cluster. It supports manual configuration to do the scaling of the containers. Kubernetes has a built in monitoring tools to monitor the containers in an application and how they perform. But on the other hand, Docker Swarm doesn't have any of the monitoring tools. It relies on the third party plugins and tools for the monitoring of the containers in a cluster. Due to the complex implementation of the Kubernetes, it does not support auto load balancer. But however, it supports manual load balancer with the configuration. And Docker Swarm for its simpler implementation, it supports auto load balancer of the containers in the cluster. For Kubernetes, you have to install a new CLI tool and there is a learning curve in that also. You have to learn the Kubernetes CLI, which is a kube controller or a kube CTL or kube cutl, whatever you prefer to say. And on the other hand, Docker Swarm doesn't require a new CLI tool. It integrates well with its own Docker CLI tool. So this is all the differences and similarities of Docker and Kubernetes and the differences between Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. So if you have any questions related to any of the topics that we covered in this video, feel free to reach out in the comment section below or feel free to reach me out in any of the social media as well. I hope you like this video. Please give us a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Till then. 
happy coding